is my friend came into work today and she's given me these <coughs> and they're uh, like charm you know to hold beads uh, I mean they could be used as earrings or whatever but what I'm going to use them for and they just peel off like that I've never seen them before but they are very pretty so what I'm going to do with them uh, I'm going to make um, these to go well I'm going to make these a charm to be honest to sit on some on your um, what am I going to sit them on? Handbag. I don't know. Hang them from somewhere. I mean, it does mean I don't have any small uh, pins, so I'm going to have to cut some of mine down. But I'm not bothered about that. So first of all, what I've done is I've taken a, a beautiful teal green bead. And I'm just going to make a loop in the top of it. It's got a flat end. Make sure it's straight. And there you go. And the flat end at the bottom. Uh, and a bead there and then what I'm going to do is attach it with a ring now I don't have any of the smaller um, silver rings I do only have these so these will have to do um, and I'm just going to attach that bead that I've just threaded and then attach it to the bottom of here and pop that back so that's one I'm going to do that all the way across I do need some flat ones just need to make sure I cut them the right size. Right, take my bead, pop the bead on. A little bit too long, because you don't need them long at all. And then just curl the end over. It's putting the wire at near the tip, but not quite at the tip. And then <coughs> just gripping that like that. Taking a split ring. Popping that through and popping that on the end of here. I, I mean, I love these. These are absolutely gorgeous. And I've never seen them before. She just said, oh, I've, I found these. I wondered if you'd like them. Oops. Silly old. That shouldn't have come off. Probably didn't put it on tight enough. Let me just squeeze that together. Like that. And press that in. Like that. I think that's fine. Take another flat pin, another green. These beads are gorgeous. These are the like a diamond cut crystal. And then just take the round noses, round nosed pliers, and just wrap that round. Flatten that off. Again, take a split pin. Pop that through the end. Oh God. Um, sorry. Pop that through the end of there. Pop that together. Make sure that's tight. got that so far. Let me just check the time. Oh yeah, I'm alright for a minute. I will stitch the two films together if it takes two films. So I'm doing it with my camera again. Right, and so far I've got that. I mean, I do like that. It's really pretty. 
really pretty. But I'm going to make that into a charm that dangles from a purse or a, a phone or something like that. And to do that, I need to add one of these uh, rings. So I just pop that in the top. I mean, it's quite a big loop there. Um, so I don't really want to break it because it's only a thin sheet of uh, metal that's been, you know, um, pressed into shape. So, and then what I can do now is to start and make the, um, take one of these, the loops, um, and I'm going to, let me just see if I have some other beads as well, and I think I'll mix my beads, so I'm just going to get my bead cap, so it'll be a minute. There, I've just got a selection of beads and bead caps. And a flat ended, uh, sorry, a looped one at the bottom. Pop the bead cap on, put the green one on to match. Pop the bead cap on top of that. Like that. That looks quite nice. Uh, I might do a double one actually like that I'm going to use a smaller um, bead cap next what I've done now is I've just made um, that was the first one I showed you Oops, sorry that was the first one that I've done uh, and I did add two green beads and then a teal be bead. I put the blue one in and, and thought, that don't look teal. You have to excuse my hands because I'm absolutely blathered again. And then I've done this one. I like the purple and blue one. I do like that one. So I've done that one. Using the smaller bead caps. Um, so they look pretty nice. Yeah. So I'm quite pleased with these, and she said she only paid 60p for these. They're 60 pence for four of these, so I'm going to get her to get me some more. And here's another one that I've made. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I absolutely love these, so I'm going to get some more of them. I put a nice big uh, claw on it, um, and just use the mixed beads again at the bottom. But I think that would be nice to hang either on a, per, uh, you know, a handbag or a, a mini or something like that. Uh, please keep, um, please look out for the uh, still pictures. Thanks very much. Bye.